Hi guys, Mega here. I'm leaving the title sequence in as a whole in this video instead of chopping it up like I usually do. The reason being that I want to show Phil uh, how he constantly talks throughout it, never showing respect for the game nor for the people who worked on it. I also want to show how dense he is by, I think he repeats it up to three times that it was a homage of a Bond film opening. Uh, but most importantly, I want to just point out, and it's always like what Bucket says when he mocks Phil, I'm funny, guys. Oh, God, tell me I'm funny. Enjoy. All right. So that's it. It's just the intro. So here we go. The real game. What a thrill. Oh, shit. This reminds me of like an opening to a 007. Holy shit, he got it. Huh. Do you think that's intentional, DSP, or do you think that was just totally coincidental? Hiss. <laughs> every, every time it's his name, has to say it three times? What the fuck? Yes, Kojima. Hey, they said Yoji, Yoji Shinkawa's name three times. They didn't complain. Do you notice that DSV has the uncanny ability to just totally destroy a song? He's like Justin Bieber if he had less talent. Hey, they didn't, he's not complaining about Kazunobo Uehara. He's not complaining about So Toyota. <laughs> He's not complaining about Kyle Cooper having his name. Oh, it's, it's called an homage. I can't even spell that. <laughs> He's not complaining about Harry Gregson Williams. Or Noriko Hibino. No, because he can't pronounce those names. <laughs> You can do Hideo Kojima, and that's it, because that's the only one he bothered to learn. What about Motosada Mori? The new hotness, Snake Eater. Woo, who farted? <laughs> that would be you. Ruins the fun out of saying fuck. It's like if the Bee Gees were more pussies. <laughs> and I love the Bee Gees. <laughs> wow. He completely ripped on 007 right there. It wasn't a rip, it was an homage, you idiot. A nuclear attack on the United States? Yes. Do it. We'll aim for Connecticut first. What kind of asshole... Sorry, you just spoke before I could say it. What kind of asshole wishes for a nuclear war? <laughs> that being said, bomb the shit out of Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> Is it anything that breathes that he just, like, has a boner for? <laughs> Unidentified aircraft detected, altitude 30,000 feet. Unidentified asshole detected. That's DSP. We know who it is. <laughs> Shoot him down. That wasn't nearly as stylish as the last one. <laughs> he said they couldn't do anything like that. No. <laughs> Ooh, it's nighttime. Wasn't that stylish? He's in a ship going exceeding Mach 3. Eh, I've done better. <laughs> That noise. Ten seconds later, oh, that's what that noise is. I need a nightlight. <laughs> <laughs> There's something making noises. 
He grabs one of his action figures off the table. <laughs> Protect me from monsters. <laughs> See you landed safely. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency uh, is 140.85. Stick to your day job. You're not a comedian. I almost forgot. <coughs> I'm a medic. I got something in my throat there. <coughs> you too? That's weird. You'll have a medical license revoked. Snake promptly fell off a cliff, failed the mission, and the world ended. Do you notice he was standing, sitting there the whole time, right? Now, what really should have happened is while Snake was sitting there with the Kodak conversation, a bear should have come up and eat him. They confiscated my weapon that I found? I just found a weapon in the last mission. They confiscated it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Gee, could it be... They did. What a bunch of assholes. Oh, my God. Uh... <laughs> I kick a frog and get some frog legs or some shit. What the fuck? There's a horse neighing? What was that? Holy crap, alright. <laughs> Holy crap, horses scare me. <laughs> wonder if I can eat it. This doesn't taste like chicken at all. Where'd this fucking horse come from? I don't know, why don't you watch and find out? Nah, fuck that. Kill the, kill the horse and eat it. It's tastier than a snake. Let's have some fucking horse steaks. Whoa! The Who is that guy behind her? I don't like mysteries! Tell me now! I want to have everyone spoil it for me instead. That was her horse. Oh shit. Wow. No horses in the wild come with like stirrups and <laughs> reins, saddles. Why was he looking for a horse cock? What a dick move. Is he secretly a furry? <laughs> He's in the bestiality. You know, more power to you if you're a furry, whatever, but why would you look at the horse and go, I want to look and see a penis first? Should be all right. That was kind of cheap, though. What the fuck, man? The cutscene just... ends. You take one step, and fucking two dudes walk into the fucking. I think area. there was like a total of ten it's seconds. He <laughs> does not have paid it. Not pay attention. And it said, "Hey, you know, they they're gonna come." This will draw attention. They're not gonna come investigate this explosion. There should be like giant neon lights and shit that will tell you when something's coming off. I'm having a ball doing nothing. So good. You can move around during caution. No, phase. it's a, you can't progress any further when you're in a caution phase. The game blocks you. That should stir things up a bit. You better hurry. It's up in flames. It's not good. Enemy scouts are going to come looking for you. Yeah, I know. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. It might have been that they wanted a variety of gameplay, so they took away the track gun on purpose. I don't know where the fuck I am right now. Snake fucker. Oh, what the fuck? That wasn't fair. The cutscene ends, you take one step, and fucking two dudes walk into the fucking area. It's annoying. So in between these videos here, I learned that the name Philip is uh, derived from Greek, and it means horse-loving or fond of horses. So if you're wondering why Phil was looking for that horse's cock, I think we have an idea why. Oh, fucking see it! <laughs> Not like you had one to begin with. We're losing our life watching this. So Phil is confirmed for not being Crocodile Dundee. Is he gonna die to the snakes? That'd be hilarious. Or uh, crocodiles. Almost all my health is the fucking alligators beat my ass. <laughs> Probably not in the right way. I kicked the toad! Yo, I kicked the toad right in the face! Did you see that? This is better than Street Fighter! <laughs> I could actually win! Zero for three. Four. There we go. Yay, one for five. It's like my Street Fighter matches. 
<laughs> no, dude, that's way too low. Shaft grenade. These are worse than the Metal Gears. <laughs> if there was a Metal Gear alligator, I'd be fucked. <laughs> oh, at the fence, huh? Wow, I think that was the first burp. Twelve parts in. Good job, Phil. That was some self-control right there. A new record. I can see you still know how to nag. Wow! What an asshole. I can see you still don't know when to keep your mouth shut. I can't tell if paramedics talking to Snake or Phil. I heard you're going to lose. I feel like the caution alert should be in front of every Phil video. <laughs> caution. Caution. It's like 400 hours long. <laughs> Maybe an alert would be better. I don't know. I don't know what the time period is for them to wake up in this game, but all right, I'm fine. The time period is the 1960s. Oh, they're chasing Oh, they're not. Here, it should be fine if I just... If I lay here... <sighs> should finally lose the tail. They're not, they don't follow you. All right, so I'll just They're not going to follow you into a new area. We'll continue on here. So that was another kind of wasted video, I think. I think every video of his is a wasted video. Oh! <sighs> So, if you've watched the last part and you're just joining me on this one, you might be wondering, gee, what the hell happened? Yeah, well, I would actually like to know. I laid down in the grass, 90% evasion. They were on caution. They weren't even looking for, they weren't even looking for me. And, well, they were looking, but they weren't, you know, I wasn't in evasion mode. And I went to take a piss, and I came back, and I'm dead. So, apparently, they rushed in and found me. It's excellent. This novel continue. <laughs> And now, of course, no one's after me, so it's super easy. <laughs> Yay, Phil. Sea box. I found a box to hide in. What was that, a Canadian box? Sea box, eh? <laughs> All right, guys, hold in your bile. Here it comes. Show me your sexy body and face, baby. Oh, yeah. <sighs> He's gonna mash the shit out of the right button for this part. Okay. <laughs> this I like. Keep oh my god, she's wearing a fucking bikini. What is going on? The name's Akiva. Yeah. He's no. just like. Yeah. He's just unzipping his pants right now. <laughs> playing one handed. He's holding the button down with his cock. <laughs> okay. oh no, he's got one hand on the controller. He's jerking off right now. Snake beater. Snake. Naked snakes. Snake, huh? Wanna see my naked snake? Well, Boo. I'm... <laughs> Are you here to tempt me? Boo! Yeah. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Mm. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. I see a large Move crevice. Move the cave and you'll arrive at a <sighs> crevice. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. My mm. orders are to provide you with information. No hand job before you leave? Anything? Come on. Just on the tip? Something. You look disappointed. Here's a tip, Phil. Shut the fuck up. Do something special. Oh, yeah. Me, 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 me. Your playthrough's put me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> What's she doing? I don't know. Why don't you watch? Shit. Trying to fix the camera. I fucked it. Ugh. Oh, shock. You know what would make it so you don't have to worry about this shit? Direct capture. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy shit, baby! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, come on. We've got company. It's the Ocelot. Ah, oh, he's still staring at her tits, Let's dude! Out of here. Hurry! He couldn't stop staring at the tits. That's great. Don't forget your gear. He couldn't or you couldn't. <laughs> here. Where's my AK? It's gone. Wait a minute. Where's the shotgun? <laughs> Oh wait, too early. I had a fucking AK-47, dude. I should probably stay inside this room. Yep, this is the most secure place. I'm oh. Phil. I'm not gonna hide in a locker. My screen. All right. I'm not gonna go into the basement. 
I'm not even going to equip my motion detector so I know where they are. Yep, I'm just staying right here. <laughs> God. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, no, no comment. This is like watching a Neft Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Rambo's more retarded brother, Todd Rambo. Hey, I could have used that in Metal Gear 1. Oh, wait. John Rambo's other brother, Jim Rambo. <laughs> He's a Canadian. Hey, guys, I'm here to do some business, eh? You've heard the story of John Rambo. But they did tell you about his brother, Jim Rambo. Why do I have to shoot these guys, Colonel? Can't we just be friends? A hero, welcome back with open arms. Hey guys, I figured out the water's problem and I fixed it for you. <laughs> now we can all watch hockey. Thrust back into battle. Jim, they stole all the maple syrup. Well, we can't have that, eh? Because I like my <laughs> flapjacks. Now he must fight for his life, as well as the life of his family. Oh, Jim, we're having such a bad time here, eh? This summer. Forget Rambo. This is Jim Rambo. And hopefully I'll have it all done and we'll be friends by the end of the day. Rated PG-13. Rated G, dude. Come on. <laughs> Rated G. The most, the most violent thing he does is stab a piece of fruit with a fork. You could make a fake movie trailer with this footage. <laughs> <laughs> I think this just might be part of a lost episode here. Holy <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> don't, don't go dying at me now, Jim. <laughs> well, I developed a bit of a cold, eh? Rub them nipples. This bitch is wearing perfume. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's like a younger DSP. <laughs> well, that was a good video, eh? I kind of like that. Little feller could use some practice.